Right, good day all. Um, it's Wednesday night. A couple of days since I started this uh, old Stanley hand drill. Um, it's been sitting for a day or two, coated in um, a nitro morse a paint stripper, just to get as much of the uh, paint off as possible. So I removed the last of the paint tonight and um, uh, last night I'd been uh, cleaning the uh, the chuck up, you know, taking all the rust off it or the, the worst of it in a way. Um, so once I'd got the paint off I've given it a polish, uh, you know, it's, it's not great, you know, there's a lot of marks on the aluminium, you know, this alloy is, you know, well alloy is obviously soft. Um, and it, you know, takes marks quite readily, and you know, there's marks from the casting as well. Uh, there was um, seams in the cast here in the in the body from the the casting process, but I took them out with a file, you know, gently uh, wore them down, and uh, likewise up here on this end. So I've removed the um, the worst of the um, cast casting seam. I've um, yeah, like I say, I've taken the most of the paint off. There's still some residual bits left in there. I don't know if you can see that. Some bits of black paint in there, and likewise on the other side. But that's proven to be awkward to remove. And I don't think it's worth um, stripping the gear out just to get in there to take a bit of paint off. So um, the chuck, like I say, it's been uh, de-rusted fairly well, uh, wire brushed and uh, polished. Uh, I put some uh, paint on Um, abrasive uh, polish on it. Um, I use autosol quite a bit for aluminium. It's quite good. Um, and I uh, gave both the aluminium and the, the chuck up a bit of a polish and clean up. I took the chuck off completely uh, and oiled the threads, put it back on. I've still got to strip the um, the chuck apart. You know, the chuck will come apart here where these two uh, flats are. Um, and then you can actually remove the jaws. And inside the uh, the chuck body there's a, I don't know how to put it, like a spacer. Um, which the, uh, the shaft seats into. And then the spacer uh, pushes against the, uh, the jaws. So that can all be stripped out and cleaned and oiled. I've got to do that yet. Uh, I've cleaned the uh, the knurling uh, here uh, somewhat. There's areas that could maybe do with a bit more work, but it's you know tidied up a bit. And um, I've still got to do the handle yet. It'll need to be cleaned and oiled. You know, I'll, I'll, I've given it a, a light day uh, sandpapering, but I'm going to do more to that yet before I oil it. And uh, yeah, so that's a bit of progress. Um, this uh, gear wheel is still needing attention. Uh, the teeth are, you know, they're not bad. They're, there's, there's no chips on them that I can see. Uh, there's a little bit of rust and dirt in, in there. But I'll, I'll give the outside a polish as well. And I've got a new a paint ordered up, new enamel paint. I don't think it'll be the same shade of orange. Uh, <clears throat> it's like these older paints are quite often difficult to match, but orange is orange, yeah. You know. Um, and I'll, I'll I'll clean up the inside here as well and and repaint that also, and then that will go back into place. I'll put a bit of grease on there. Maybe some light oil, possibly. Uh, grease tends to pick up a lot of dirt. 
Um, I've still got to do the little handle here also, and I've still got to try to uh, repair the threads in the, this hole here. Uh, but all in good time. I don't have a, a lot of time to spare these days, so that's that's a that's coming on nicely though. A nice little extra to the toolkit. I'll maybe keep this one in my woodworking um, toolbox, and the the one that's a bit rough will go into the uh, metalworking toolbox. Um, yeah, so um, just a short video the night. It's um, half nine. I'm gonna have an early night the night. I've been quite tired this week. And uh, yeah, until next time, take care and uh, stay safe and be happy. Bye for now.